let the peace, love and blessing of the Almighty God be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Those who will go to heaven, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth Leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Revelation chapter 14 verse 4. Second lesson, St. Luke chapter 20 verse 35. Golden text, St. Matthew 19 verse 12. Quote, These are they that were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, wheresoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Brethren, I want to divide this gospel into three parts. I will give you the first part today and the other two parts on the following Sunday. We are going to illustrate those who will be taken to heaven. If any of the signs is seen in you, then you are one of them. This gospel is not going to be long because it is self-explanatory. I am not giving this gospel to set a division between husband and wife. I do not also want walking tongues. This gospel does not belong to any particular member. It is just a revelation of the eternal truth as God has it. I am giving this gospel because I had already promised you that I will reveal to you those who will be going to heaven. Heaven is for the heavenly people. You cannot ascend up to heaven because you are wealthy or because you have wisdom or because of any righteousness or goodness in you. You may be the cleverest person. You can make up your mind not to get married and stay unmarried. You may say, you may use your money to prepare yourself for heaven. But if you were not meant for it, you cannot go there. Even if you were put in heaven, you cannot stand the condition of things there. People have different gifts from God. God gives people advice to marry only one wife and after union to fast. St. Paul, from the day Christ called him, had nothing to do with women. At the end of his sermon, while here on earth, Christ would say, Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. The gospel given out is like a big net thrown, in, thrown out into the sea. It takes with it various kinds of fishes. So when the gospel is given, you must pick out whatever portion that belongs to you. When our Lord Jesus Christ preached, to his disciples that, that if they divorced and married another, they have committed adultery for the rest of their life, the disciples became very sad because they were annoyed. He made it clear to them that the sermon belonged only to those who were destined to hear it, those who could digest it. Do you remember an instance when the disciples of John the Baptist saw the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ baptizing? How they were annoyed and went and told John the Baptist what the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ had done? John said that he had told them that nobody could do anything along these lines except the power is given to them therefore 
the capacity to marry one wife and be satisfied with just that one comes from above. Also, the capacity to marry two or more wives must come from above. There are some men who, if they put two or more wives in the house, become almost dead. There are those who cannot stand women at all. That is just how they are made because they are meant for the kingdom. This revelation of God is plain. When you see others marry, you start to imitate them. Some even marry more than one wife. Has God given you the capacity? Many women say our companions have husbands and still keep many boyfriends as they like outside. Let us imitate them. Have you asked God whether you can do so? The signs that follow them. On the other hand, you may find some women marrying one husband and keep to him alone. They do not want to know the number of women that their husbands had made contact with outside. There are others who may marry one husband but have many boyfriends outside. I tell you that in each case, they are not responsible for this behavior. They were created like that. So do not try to imitate them. If you do, you may become wretched. There are people who were not meant for marriage, but because of the circumstances of this life, they marry. You will find that they would carry on for some time, then, of, then finally separated because they always fight and quarrel in the family. There will be no settled life in their midst because they are not meant for this world but for heaven. Some of these women become sickly in their husband's homes because of sex. But as soon as they stay away from their husband, they become well. Some men or women will be lovely to look at, but they remain single. This makes you wonder why such lovely persons should not have wives or husbands. They have been approached for marriage, but they refuse because of their position in heaven. The world is blind. When a thing like this happens, people begin to talk and gossip and start to consult juju doctors to prepare them lucky charms to make them find wives or husbands. There are some women who are born exactly like men and some men who are born exactly like women. The Bible says that there are some who are born eunuchs but when this happens to a man, the individual becomes perpetually grieved and, rid and is ridiculed by men and women. As a result, he starts worrying and looking for treatment. This is how human beings fight with God. There are others who, because of the kingdom, separate themselves from husbands or wives and wait for the coming of the kingdom. They are not responsible for this action. First lesson, Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. These are they that were not defiled by women, for they are virgin. These are they which followed the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Brethren, have you heard the word of God read as a witness? People say, oh, where can God get such people these days? People who don't want to marry are people who haven't defiled themselves with women. I tell you that there are lots of men and women who have never defiled themselves. 
they are not responsible for the level in life which they have attained. It is God that has given them that power of resistance. Some of these people may be highly educated, some may only attain a basic standard of education, some may not be educated before the trumpet setting everything in order sounds. There are other people who have been in preparation against this time. Among them are the reverend mothers and fathers who have kept themselves from fornication and so forth. Don't, don't make the mistake that Elijah made when he saw all other prophets killed and asked God to protect him for the people have decided to kill him as he was the only one left. What was God reply? God told him that he had sent down 7,000 men to him to protect him. Some very young ones are coming. When the number is completed, the trumpet will surely sound. Some of them, as soon as they are born into the world, show no interest for man or woman because they don't know the difference. You can find a girl undressing in front of a man or sleeping in the same bed with him. But with our carnal minds, if we see such a thing, we would conclude that they have known each other sexually because it is believed that a man and a woman cannot sleep in the same bed without having sex. God's way is mysterious. These children of God, so born, do not even know that they were created like that for the kingdom of heaven. God passes in a mysterious way to do his work. That is why in Brother Out of the Cross and Star, we do not struggle for anything. Stay where God keeps you. Philip had four beautiful daughters, and none of them was given in marriage. They remained without husband all their lives and waited for the fulfillment of God's wish. Prophetess Hannah married, but when her husband died, she stayed, worked, and served God without a man. There are many Hannahs among you today. Do not feel that you are lost when you hear this gospel. God knows what he is doing. Do not make any choice because the Father has already made it. I told you of those heavenly ones that will follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. In the same sense, there are children of perdition. Don't you see clearly that this does not depend on anybody who looks for it or runs away from it. There are prophets who will go to heaven and there are prophets who will inherit the earth. And there are those who will go to hell. Today, I tell you that those who will be selected to go to heaven are those that never marry nor defile themselves. Everybody is saved by grace, but we should not, because of this, become people with questionable characters. Those who are destined to go to heaven will be separated from their husbands or wives to get themselves prepared before the trumpet sound. You may count a miserable prostitute who goes from man to man as lost, but I tell you, if this, if his or her name was destined for heaven on that day, he or she will refrain from all this and will surely go to heaven.
can you say why women are prostitutes? It is because they do not see the truth. You may see a husband and wife and recommend them to be good partners. You may be wrong in your recommendation because you may not know their internal problem. The husband may not be truthful to the wife. The woman, because of this, may retaliate in like manner. They come back to the house and no one questions the other. You will also find a woman who is married to a man who goes from woman to woman. The wife will not be satisfied because she wants a loyal husband. The woman eventually leaves the husband to look for another man. She is not, she is not a prostitute, but she is looking for loyalty. This thing also happens to men. And when they make up their minds, they decide never to marry again. The whole town will take them to be prostitutes. A woman who becomes a prostitute does so because of some unavoidable circumstances. They want loyalty. That is why they go from door to door. The same thing happens to men. Breadwin, why is there so much dissatisfaction in marriage? It is because God does not create some people for marriage. They just marry for the purpose of security. And when their husband demands sex, they refuse because they have no interest. The same thing happens to men. Some have no interest in marriage. They just marry, they just marry to be free from women's molestation. When their wife demands sex, they refuse and they will be called eunuchs. There are also some men who are impotent. They become miserable and dispirited and may even commit suicide when they know that they can't play the part of a man. They don't know that God created them for himself. They can pay large sums of money in ignorance to juju doctors to make them virile. God, in fact, loves the world very much. If he should follow our evil ways. He would not keep us alive till today. Second lesson, St. Luke chapter 35, St. Luke chapter 20 verse 35. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain the, that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage they are not married those that are counted worthy are not married for are given in marriage you may say i will be carried up to heaven which heaven if you still think of material things you will not be carried up to heaven as you think. You may look around and say, my friends are all married and have grown up children. Those who are married think of how to please their husbands or wives, but those who are not married think of how they will be pure in body and mind so as to please God. Those who are for heaven do not have marriage in mind. If you talk to them, about marriage, they will refer you to heavenly things and depart from you. But they are only happy if you take them as brothers. Brethren, do not be deceived that those who will go to heaven are given in marriage. The choice of who goes to heaven is left to God alone. If it falls on a woman, she will remain without sex. If it falls on a man, he also will remain without sex. God wants to use us all. So stay where you are and place.
So stay where you are placed and do not be annoyed. Our Lord Jesus Christ said that it is better to go to heaven with one hand than to go to hell with two hands. There are some people who were not born eunuchs, but later they changed and became eunuchs. There are some from the day of their conversion, they resigned from all forms of sexual intercourse. Yes, it was stated by God that within the twinkle of an eye, they will be changed. Many of you are still fornicating even, even though you are meant for heaven. You do this because you do not know where you stand. There are those who are kept for the fulfillment of the scripture and those who will be changed within the twinkle of an eye. If you are among those for the heavenly home, don't worry, you will be changed before you go to heaven. Christ is preparing you. Some grumble that ever since they came to brotherhood, no woman or man has shown interest in them anymore. Whether they have become too ugly, they wonder. No, I say you have become, I say you have even become more beautiful. You are being prepared for heaven by driving the desire out of you. So do not be surprised if you know more of the desire for sex. Even though you are not old, when God puts up a sign like this, you worry and abuse him, not knowing that he is preparing you for heaven. You will find that since you came to brotherhood, you have no more peace at home. You face a threat of divorce every now and then from your husband. Yes, Christ wants to prepare you for that day. Some men, when their wives divorce them, they become worried and marry another woman, not knowing that this will, will not give them peace of mind. Christ does not want you to marry and perish, hence the divorce. Why then do you worry when you are given the knowledge that you are being prepared for the kingdom? You all have seen these signs in you and have ignored them in ignorance. Now that God has come to save you, please heed the advice. Golden text, St. Matthew chapter 19, verse 12. For there are some eunuchs which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men, and there are eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. The power of resistance is not yours. We hope you understand our lesson. That is why Christ said that it is simpler for a harlot. That is why Christ said that it is simpler for a harlot to go to heaven than a rich man. There are people born eunuchs and remain so till they die. Yes, that is their share. They were not made eunuchs because of their sins or the sins of their parents. Another class of eunuchs is made of men. God has given another person power to make you eunuch so that you may go to heaven. The third set of those who decide within themselves to remain eunuchs for the sake of the heavenly home. They are perfectly sound in health, but because of the kingdom of heaven, they decide to stay without sex. Are you now aware that this decision cannot be made by man? Now you will find a comparatively young man 
surrounded by lovely girls, but he does not want union. Don't you see that the power to resist sex is not yours, but the power of God? When he gives you this power, he has given you a place in heaven. Those who are born eunuchs are made by God. You cannot ask him the reason why. He made them, he made them for a purpose. The self-made eunuchs often revert back to fornication and, and, and other bad lives because they cannot resist the temptations of life. Do you remember when God wanted the children of Israel to suffer tribulation from the hands of the Egyptians? How they later came to realize the power of God? Without suffering, you cannot know the power of God. When you meet a very wicked husband or wife who punishes you, you will decide to stay alone. God wants it so so that you may know yourself in every court today you see divorce cases these things do not happen for nothing no marriage in heaven the scripture says that when the lord jesus christ shall come his angel shall be sent to remove His angels shall be sent to remove whatever will be obstacles in the ways of the children of God. One of these stumbling blocks is marriage. You will remember the statement which says that two people will sleep together and one will be taken away. The one that is taken goes up to heaven and the other will be left behind. If something that you love very much is not taken away from you, you will be chained to it, and you are lost. If you are meant for heaven, God will take away from you whatever job you are doing. If, if he sees that it will be a stumbling block to you, you are not told here that a man and a woman will not stay together. They are to remain as brother and sister. The capacity to, the capacity to do this does not come from man. Be thankful to God when you can perceive these things spiritually. Even if it remains one day, God will cut off your, your relationship with the world so that you will be fit for heaven there is no marriage in heaven it is inhabited by angels you will be told of those who will remain on earth you have been told that you can stick to one or two wives but there is no place for you in heaven those who will will go with Christ are not to marry. This is the first sign. There are two more signs. So don't rejoice and say that you have no husband or wife, so you are for heaven. Wait for the wait for the three signs which signify the supreme Godhead. You may decide not to have sex but in spirit you are doing it it means that you are forcing yourself if you force yourself to stay without sex you may become mad some say i am not going to marry i want to devote myself to the service of god for the rest of my life but as soon as you set yourself for this purpose your desire for sex becomes worse. Those that God has destined for these things have no difficulties and no regrets. People tell women that if they stay without sex, they will have no blood 
in them. This is false because God does not reason this way. This can happen to those who force themselves to stay without sex. Therefore, brethren, let everyone stay where God has kept him or her. You who will not marry, do not tell another woman to leave their husband, to leave her husband, and so forth. If she leaves her husband and comes to you, will you, will you be of help to her as God gives grace to those that are married and have children? So does he give grace to those who are unmarried. Their wealth is in heaven. On that day, there will be much lamentation. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May the Lord bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.